Thank you everybody for uh, coming today, students, faculty, staff, and uh, members from Stanford University and the Cumberland School of Law. My name is Jared Kerr. I'm the chair of the Cordell Hall Speakers Forum. Cordell Hall is behind me, and the Speakers Forum is an honorary, exclusively student-run organization of the law school. We're named after our famous alumnus, Cordell Hall, who was a Tennessee congressman, a U.S. senator, a U.S. congressman, secretary of state under FDR, and also a Nobel laureate for peace for his work on developing the United Nations. The sole purpose of Cordell Hall is to honor our namesakes, dedication, wisdom, and energy by bringing educational and enlightened speakers to the law school community and Stanford at large. Today, I think we have accomplished this goal, and I'm really glad to see everybody here who's going to have the opportunity to listen to one of our own, Professor Robert Boland. Dean Carroll will do a brief introduction, um, but before I let him take the stage and kick me off, let me just thank the members of Cordell Hall who have helped tremendously, working very hard to get this event together. Also, our co-sponsor, Phi Alpha Delta, and Kathy Walden, Dean Lewis, and Dean Carroll, and many other people that have helped to put this together. And also last, I'd like to thank Professor Bowen for honoring us with this talk and coming all the way from New York uh, to visit us, visit back his law school home and share some of his insights over his uh, extensive career. So with that, I'll give you Dean Carroll. It's good to see all of you. This is a a great day at the law school to welcome Robert back. Robert's bio is in the program, so I don't want to go through a great detail, but Robert started out at Columbia University where he played football, uh, and he says, those of you that are sports fans know that Columbia once had the longest uh, running losing streak of any school in Division I, but he swears he had nothing to do with that. Uh, he has done just about everything there is to do in sports and, and now is a professor at New York University's Tisch Center that's, that focuses on sports management. He graduated from Cumberland in 1995 and was active even then in doing lots of sports things. If you follow sports at all, you have seen him on national talk shows, quoted in the national news media, it is really hard to imagine that there's anybody in the United States that knows more about sports law than Robert Boland, so please join me in welcoming him. Thank you so much. What a great introduction. Uh, I'm not sure that I can quite live up to it, but let me at least start by saying thank you to Dean Carroll. Thank you to the members of the faculty of Cumberland, and thank you to the members of the Cordell Hall Speakers Forum. and students, fellow Cumberland students. Um, I'm thrilled to be here today. I am absolutely thrilled to be here today. Uh, and, and my life is sort of one of happy accidents. Uh, I, I kind of got at least a moment or two of fame this summer when uh, Michael Vick was arrested for animal cruelty. And uh, who would have thunk that that would be the moment that would define all the steps I've taken in my life and kind of connect them. But uh, sure enough, I'm a lawyer. I went to Cumberland, I played football, I've represented players in the NFL, and I now teach sports law, but the other one real, really weird thing that kind of works with that bio is that my first job out of law school, I was an assistant district attorney in New York, and I was the newest one in the office. And in that office, I got sent to the Animal Crimes Task Force. <laughs> so who knew that 12 years later, my career would sync up perfectly? And it did. So here I am talking about, uh, about Michael Vick and everything now sports related. Um, I've kind of put my life in the toy department of life, and, and I'm pretty happy about that choice. And it, it wasn't always my goal, but it's kind of where I keep dragging myself back. And I kind of want to leave you with a, a number of ideas today. But first, let me say thank you to Cumberland. I can't say thank you enough, and, and I'm really sort of expecting Professor Bola to kind of walk out with his hat turned to the side and go, you're punked, Bob. You're really not supposed to be here. Uh, 
So if he does pop out, we'll, we'll, we'll know that I'm not supposed to be here. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I can't tell you how grateful I am to be here today and how much this institution means to me and to my life. I feel it incredibly prepared me for what I'm going to do next. And what I, it, it has left me open to everything in the world and open to seizing every opportunity. And now I've moved over to the dark side of the world and the faculty side. I really want to thank the teachers that I had here. They are tremendous. And a lot of them are still here. And I hope you will, if, if you're a student and you haven't thought to take advantage of them, please do. Ultimately, they will be the thing that will, will, will mark your university experience and your law school experience as, as, as well as anything. But go ahead and make cross to the, the dark side and make friends with them. They're not the enemy. I tell my students that too. Um, and I was proud to have that opportunity. I'm going to give you three takeaways today because you're all sitting out there kind of going, all right, another speaker, what's the deal? Uh, most speakers who come in talk about one of two things. They either talk about their biography and how they got a job that you can't really have and how they were lucky enough.